18 years of age from Edmonton, Alberta. It's a common routine for Caitlin Osmond. Big start, flipping toe loop. Fantastic bullets. She's up for it again. Just had to step out of that double axle, triple toe loop. Yeah, the important thing was though, she made the rotation. It's not all been comfortable at the beginning of this program, but she's making it count. What a whirlwind start. Triple Salco. Oh, what a shame. Down on the triple flip. And the confidence suddenly seems to have splintered. Well, you can see the talent, you can see the potential, but it's not going to be her evening. The Canadian crowd did all they possibly could. They got Patrick Chan home.
last night by the skin of his teeth. We won't go there. Because Chris and I will never agree about that. But they haven't done enough, I'm afraid, to get 17-year-old Caitlin Osmond home. But you can see what a beautiful skater she is. She is, I tell you, I love watching this girl skate. As a coach, all you ever ask of your students is to leave it out on the ice. Just give it everything you've got. And she always does that. There's always that beaming smile. She loves to compete, loves to skate. You can see it. It's oozing out of every pore of her body. Magnificent performer. Difficult program, that. And uh, even after those two mistakes, she didn't give up. She kept on pushing. Love it. She's so exciting to watch, isn't she? She is. Ravi Walia is the man who coaches her in Edmund. It must be a joy to work with her, I tell you. Yeah, she looks as if got a really sunny personality. And she showed such strength of character in this, her first World Championships. Yeah, she has no experience at all. One Grand Prix is all she's done, and she won that one. That was yes. Skate Canada, wasn't it? This was the start, that triple flip at the beginning. And you see a little bit of hesitation there before that toe loop. Almost step forwards, actually. An essential Carmen, but wholesome too. It was a terrific cocktail. It really was. Love the way she gives the judges eye contact. And they like that too. You can draw them into your performance. Here's that big combination. Double axle, triple toe loop. Just about made the rotation. You can see she was leaning forwards a little bit on that. It's one of the toughest jobs in the house to stand there and watch. It's out of your control. There's the Salco, beautiful, straight into the choreography again. That's what I love about her. Then it started to go wrong, an awful 30 seconds, where she fell on the flip and fell on the toe. Yeah, she was down on the left-hand side on the flip. There was really no way back from that. This, I thought, was super, the layback spin. She kept that going forever and a day. Into the Bielman at the end there to get the level up, just about getting the rotation on that as well good levels on the spins she could just get third place perhaps above Murakami but I don't think so and remember there's still Kim Yuna to go no Ooh, 